You're watching clips, the best moments from our live streams every Monday and Friday. Don't miss out. Watch it. Uh, Kamala blames the border crisis and the invasion of millions of illegals on Trump. You can't make this up. She's literally the border czar and has been in office for the past four years. So this is a clip from her interview on MSNBC. Let's check it out. There are people there that are stressed, that feel that they're at capacity. Communities around the country that have legal immigration, many have said, we're, we're, we're at capacity. And many feel like the government has said to them, well, adapt, sit down, be quiet. This is how it is. What would a Harris administration do for those communities who've taken in many, many legal immigrants but are at capacity? Well, first of all, we do have a broken immigration system mm -hmm. and it needs to be fixed. And if we take a step back, months ago, some of the most conservative members of the United States Congress came together with others, proposed a border security bill. That would have put 1,500 new border agents on the border to help those hardworking border agents who are there right now working around the clock. Would have put more money into stemming the flow of fentanyl, which is killing Americans around our country and devastating communities. Would have put more resources into our ability to prosecute transnational criminal organizations, which in my career I've prosecuted. Donald Trump got word of the bill realized it was going to fix a problem he wanted to run on and told him to kill the bill, don't put it up for a vote. He killed a bill that would have actually been a solution because he wants to run on a problem instead of fixing a problem. And that's part of what needs to be addressed. And my pledge is that when elected president, if the American people will have me, I will bring that bill back and I will sign it into law. And we need a comprehensive plan. That includes what we need to do to fortify not only our border, but deal with the fact that we also need to create pathways for people to earn citizenship. There are people there. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, the question was, what are you going to do to alleviate the stress of communities and, uh, and the, the, the system uh, supported by American taxpayers? And um, and the answer was, <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't. Uh, it was it was more of more of like you know, well, you know, let's take it back because you know there there was this. I, I've already heard this answer. Right. This is not. This is to me. This is not an answer. For me, an answer would have been. Um. And we're gonna we're really interested in what she has to say when she's on the border, because that's the the big hype today. Right. Um, so for for me, um, it just it just seems that that she's so she just she's just avoiding the problems that have been caused the last three right. and a half years in right. big and small communities from New York to small town USA. And that be, that's because this is on her, it, all this has been happening um, on her watch. Right. You could say it was continued from Trump. That's fine. I don't care. You guys have been in charge the last three and a half years. I'd actually would point to some success. It's like, look, I don't know why she hasn't been talking about the root and causes. It's like, okay, well, I got, I got, I got over four billion raised. Uh, two billion, one billion went to Mexico to this one town, and we, 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 we started, we, we got this plant by, we got this plant by, uh, you know, uh, by a manufacturer, and we were able to. Hire 300, uh, you know, citizens in the town of Mexico City, but what Mexico, whatever, like give concrete facts to some success. I said this helped. It's not, you know, it's 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 not the be all end all, but it it did help, and that's what I want to continue. She can do that. I don't know how she's she going to call back this bill. The bill, the bill didn't pass the senate right 
Yeah, it didn't pass. It was full of pork, you know? And so it's all well, well, filled yeah, with all kinds I mean, but, of weird things. That so, mean nothing uh, about the border. And, 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 and excuse me, but more... So talk about your success. She hasn't talked about any of, any of her successes. Are there successes? Uh, Maybe that's, that's why I'm not talking about it because uh, she got private money, four point two billion, to be to put in these different Latin American countries. Did something not go well with that? Do you guys know about that? I know about that. That was part of her. Whether you want to call her the czar or not, I don't. I don't care. But that was uh, that was that was the responsibilities given from Biden to her. She got to go and kind of take the problem head on from the roots and causes, which I, I respect because you can do that. Then you can also reform the U S immigration system. You can do that at the same time. See what I just said to me is more of an answer than what she just said. That's me. Yeah. But then, you know, I guess maybe because they kind of know where that money went and they don't want nobody to know where that money went. So they don't like, yeah, don't say anything. <laughs> you know, how much of it is her not, because she's got to have an earpiece probably of somebody telling her something. Either she's ignoring it or or it's just, you know, it's like, no, just be as vague as, as possible because if you do say something, then, you know, it's going to it's gonna blow up. Yeah. So. Um. Because, you know, she could say I've prosecuted transnational. Da, 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 da. I mean, where, where, the, where are the case examples besides just you doing this as a, you know, as a California prosecutor? Um, and it, it, but ultimately, <clears throat> this is not satisfying to voters as an answer, <clears throat> especially right. if I'm undecided, an undecided voter. Right. Having a hard time paying all my bills and rent this is this, this is not the answer i want to hear all right of course what do you guys think in the chat what do you guys think in the chat <clears throat> oh can you read that kamala harris went through 90 staff members in two years several of whom say she is not what she did think not in a good way either no uh, I swear politicians take a class on how not to answer question if they politicians answers might lose them some votes. So yeah. why is she talking about the import of drug when it's about immigration levels? No, well, that's that's a bait and switch, you know. <clears throat> I think if anything, more... what you're seeing is is people it's kind of like 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 with us. We got over we got a hundred we, we got over a hundred people combined. <clears throat> Why are people still hanging out with us, listening to us? If we were full of shit, they wouldn't be. If we were disingenuous, we would have no members. We have we have almost uh, two hundred paying members, right? Right. We've been we've been riding on a nice wave of success the last couple of months. Why? Because we're genuine. We don't have to agree. I don't got to agree with, with, I don't have to agree with the, with everything that <clears throat> who I'm going to vote for. But if they're not full of shit, then that's a start. And I'm telling you guys, Latinos, you know, the John Leguizamo and this guy and that guy, talking about they're talk, they're 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 approaching this problem from the opposite side the op the from the opposite end the one thing that john says is like you got to come to us correct but it's how can't come to us with the mm -hmm. latinx mentality people don't like that right right Latin so that for latinos they just can smell Mamadas bullshit right away. And if you're just in, and and I think Latino women, I think reproductive rights is a big issue with them. But is it big enough to sway the vote? 
Is it going to really sway the vote? Also, too, are there bigger issues such as economy?